It's not about motivation. When is new discipline? Wake up and win today. <laughs> discipline comes from within. The last thing I want to speak to you about, Dom, is uh, the big heavyweight fight this week. Uh, Fabio Wardley and uh, Fraser Clark. And Fraser, shout out Fraser, he might be watching, listening to this because he's a big fan of these uh, interviews that we do. So, um, how, how do you see this fight going? Um, we've got Fabio, who's a big puncher on paper. He's knocked out all of his opponents, bar one, I think. And obviously, Fraser's had half the fights. Um, and, uh, yeah. I don't, you know, I don't think I've actually ever watched. I think I might have seen Fabio Wardley box once or twice and I've, I've seen um, you know seen what he can do he's a strong kid aggressive and I just think that he's he's had twice as many fights um, as the other fella he's got a lot of experience and in the pro game yeah in the in the pro game, I mean, you know, because because this is the fascinating thing here. Fraser, an elite amateur Olympic bronze medalist, Fabio was fighting white collar. But you've got to remember though that the amateur game is different to professional. So, white collar is more like professional fighting than than amateur boxing is. Believe it or not, because he's the time when Fraser was boxing. It's very, you know, standing count if your nose bleeds or you get a bit of a cut or whatever. Standing count if you wobble. It's different. It's kind of like a different set of rules. Whereas professional boxing is a bit like a is a bit is a is a bit like a free for all in a way. It's got rules and regulations, but it's less restrictive, shall I say, than amateur boxing. You know, so Fabio's, you know, been in the rough and ready brigade, brigade and Fraser's been in a different system. And I just think, you know, Fraser's not a bad fighter. I just, he's never really, when I've watched him, he's never, for me, never really lit up. He's never really seems to push himself or, you know, show what he's capable of. Whereas Fabio's kind of been slung in and had to, to, to make his way through. And I think Fabio's just got a lot more professional experience and he's obviously had the, 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 uh, the white collar fights. So he's like, you've only got to look at him. He looks rough and ready, doesn't he? He, he reminds me of, um, what do you call that uh, bare knuckle fighter? Lenny, Lenny McCrane, or whatever they call him. Lenny McLean. You don't know who that is, do you? No, don't you know. know. You don't know who that is, but people on your channel know who it is. He looks like a very, for me, <laughs> he looks like a very young version of him, uh, Lenny McLean. And uh, he, was, he was a vicious street fighter. And Fabio kind of has got that, for me, he's got that kind of aura about him. So I think it's going to be a very tough fight for Fraser. And if Fraser's going to win that fight, he better have prepared, you know, really, really well, be really, really fit. And the only way he's going to beat him is to keep him on the end of the jab and box and, be, and box smart and not get rolled into a fight. Because, you know, Fabio's more of a fighter and a brawler than he is a boxer. And that works for him. So it's going to be interesting. Um, I so think you, you said this statement about Fraser Clark once that he's never fought like he's he's had the fear of God inside no. him. Do you think this is that fight? Uh, yeah, Cause, it should Because be. this is a fight that people ridiculed him for not taking earlier. And obviously, he's in from his promotional point of view, they've had the experience now and they took the fight because they feel now's yeah, the time. Yeah, but he's still, he's still not adding up. For me, he's, he's, he's still not had enough experience. He's only, I think he's had half the fights of Fabio. Uh, so, you know, I just don't think that he don't fight like he's got the fear of God him. He's a bit laid back. But like I said, the only way he's going to beat him is to, is to outbox him and be smart and not get into, a, get into a tear up with him, which is going to be difficult because it's, you know, Ward's going to, going to try and drag him into that. So, you know, if you want in, want in my, um, you know, opinion on who's going to win, I think, Ward, you know, Ward's going to win it. Um, Wardley's going to win it. Fabio Wardley's going to win it. Um, purely on his his output, the fights he's had, um, you know, activity wise, and and for me, I've never really seen Frazier spark, Fraser spark like he should do. He's never he never really shone. I've seen him a few times, you know, when he was down at the AS sparring, and you know, I think he sparred Joyce and Joshua, and you know, good. 
but that's in a sparring situation in a, in a in a training centre, and uh, I just think with him, he's, he's really really got to um, uh, dig deep. He's gonna have to dig deep on Saturday to show us all something. And on on paper, is Fraser the best opponent of Fabio's fought? Because I'll, I'll name the, the the names that stand out on Fabio's record. David Adderley was twelve and zero at the time. Nathan Gorman was nineteen and one. Um, and, and there's Nick Webb, uh, Eric Molina, uh, who I think gave Fabio a bit of trouble early on. Um, so they're the names that stick out. Is, is Fraser his I hardest fight? I would say fight? that Gorman was the best. Gorman, um, I think that he, I think Nathan um, had a lot of success in the first round or so in no, that I'm fight. I've seen, but Nathan Gorman. I, look, I've watched Nathan Gorman, a good boxer. I mean, never looked in great shape. But he wasn't a bad boxer. If I, if I, if if you if is he better than Fraser Clark? Well, they were nineteen and nineteen and one. Were nineteen and one, so he had the wins. And it's like for me, Fraser just had enough fights to to gauge him. Do you know what I mean? He boxed Dave Allen. He boxed a Dave Allen who wasn't at the best, you know, best point of his career. And it wasn't the best fight. It was a bit scrappy. And in reality, if you're the kid coming through and, and Dave Allen's on the slide and, you know, he's, he should have been a, a one or two round demolition if you're going to be sparkling and showing something. So, you know, when I, when I look at that, I, I, I can't say that, um, you know, that uh, it's going to be his best fight. You know what I mean? It's like... Yeah, it's going to be a difficult fight. It's going to be a difficult fight for for, for Fraser Clark. Does, does Fabio stop him, or is he on points? It 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 could be a late stoppage. It could be, there could be some stamina issues there, um, because if you know he's got a decent work rate, uh, Wardley. I know he wasn't looking great against uh, Gorman, and then he got he, he caught Gorman with some fantastic shots. But Gorman's a good boxer. I thought Gorman was a good boxer. Um, but Eddie Hearns picked Fraser Clark. Sorry, Eddie Hearns picked Fraser Clark. Well, all right. Is Wardley? We still with Eddie. Uh, I think Wardley fights freelance. He just goes yeah, wherever the money's at. Ready, didn't he? Right. Uh, yeah, I think right. yeah. So the reason that Eddie thinks that is because whatever Eddie were doing for him probably weren't good enough. So Eddie's not happy with that, basically. So, and who's going to pull Eddie up? And is Eddie going to be bothered if his prediction's wrong? Probably not. Um. But we'll see. I think just on the on the balance of it all, on the paper, looking at it, and I've not really watched either of them closely. Um, I just think that uh, Wardley's just been more active. Um, he's more aggressive. He's got a decent work rate. He might be raw, um, but unless it, unless Fraser sticks to his boxing and keeps calm under pressure, I think he's just going to be outworked. Okay, let's let's see how that unfolds. Um, your your diets and nutrition. I see that you've trimmed out again because you're you're always fluctuating weight. And I see you kind of trimming out again. Oh, it's coming to the summer, and we have to get a six pack out, don't we? Yeah. Because it's beach time and stuff. And I've seen that you've been putting some pictures up of some more of your clients recently on Instagram. Mm. Uh, some new success stories. Yeah, I've still got lots of clients. I've uh, I, I've had some some good fellas in uh, all over forty. Uh, the time of life when they're having issues with their health and. Um, I've had three clients who were a bit dubious at first that they could lose 10 kilos in a month and they've done it and over the moon. And one of them actually had a, a condition, psoriatic arthritis, which is like inflammation. And uh, one of his knees, he couldn't actually bend it properly. And he's been on this diet for, for a month and he's got um, you know much more flexibility in his knee and he's over the moon. That's just with diet change. Uh, dropped 10 kilos, a lot healthier, a lot fitter. So it just shows you change your change your lifestyle and change your health. And I'm assuming you still got space for more clients. And yeah, you're getting pretty full now because it's coming up to the summer. I always find in in March I get a massive influx of uh, of clients because they're all going to get shaped up for the for the summer holidays. And uh, so I'm, I'm quite busy. I'm actually doing a lot of work with Greg, the nutritionist. He's, he's over with Tyson at the minute. Um, but we've got uh, we've got a lot of clients together that we're working on. It just makes the the workload a lot easier. Good stuff. And uh, yeah, as always, if they want to get in touch, is it the same email address you gave me same last time? One, yeah. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen. I'll try and remember what it was. I'll get it up on the screen. But Dom, as always, appreciate your time. Um, we'll catch you soon. Unless you got anything else to add. 
No, I think I better better leave it at that. No, nope, that's episode one of the Brutally Honest podcast. And I hope people like the name. I couldn't think of anything better. Could you think of anything better? No. No. Nope. Right. Perfect. So, well, hopefully people have learned something about hippos today and um, and let uh, some stuff they didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. I got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals. 